Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about what is a clustered index and what is a non-clustered index and differences between clustered and non-clustered indexes. First of all, why we need indexes? Ideally, indexes are required to improve the performance of a queries. And how many clustered index we can create on a table and how many non-clustered index we can create on a table. So at any point of time, single table can have only one clustered index and a single table can have multiple non-clustered index on a table. So why only one clustered index and why many non-clustered index we'll talk in detail. So once we go to the practical. So first of all, I'll show you without indexes and with indexes. So let me go to SQL Server Management Studio. So if you see here, I have a table with the name of employee, so which are of having couple of columns, employee name, employee number, job, hire date, salary, commission and department uh, number. If you see here, so there is no index will be creating on the top of the table if I execute this because I did not specify the index related stuff. For example, if you specify a primary key, it means that it is going to create an index on the top of a table. So that is the reason why I am not specifying even index. Okay, even I am not specifying a primary key. Now let me create a table. So here I will be working on the analysis database. Under that I have, it is an empty database if you see. There is nothing is there in the analysis. Now let me execute this. So once I execute this, so I have a table created here. If you see this table name, under this particular table, it is having couple of columns, around seven columns and it is empty. If you see the structure of the table, so to you might be knowing how to see the structure of the table, you need to type, so EMP Alt F1. If you see here, so these are all the list of columns has been created here if you see. Employee number, employee name, hire date, salary, commission and department number. And so there are no identity keys and there is no indexes has been created on the top of the table. So if you type Alt F1 on any table, you can see the structure and design of the particular table, including indexes, including identity keys, everything, every information you can see. Now, so let me run some insert queries on the top of this table. So I have like a couple of insert queries. So let me take this and let me run on the top of this table. So if you see, if I run this particular insert queries, it is going to insert three rows. So one with a employee ID 2, one with the employee ID 1, the other one with employee ID 3. So here if you see, I am trying to insert the employee IDs in a different order, not in a sequential order. So first I am trying to insert 2 along with John, Clark and particular dates and salary and commission. And again, second one is um, employee ID 1 with the Williams salesman and all. Next employee ID 3 with um, uh, Kate and all. Even I can put like this also, nothing to worry. So here this is one way of sending, inserting, this is one way of uh, putting the values. Okay, let me put this. So let me run the insert queries. So if I run the insert queries, so I'm going to run all the insert queries one by uh, like in one shot. So you can run in one by one or you can run in one shot. Either is fine. Let me run this. If I run this, one row is affected. So let me run this, the other one way is affected. If I run this, it is going to insert one more row. Now if you see on the total, your table contains three rows. Let me run the select query on the top of it. Select star from EMP. See if you run this, if you run the select query, so what is the order of the employees has been inserted into the particular table. If you see this, so there are three rows has been inserted, but the order is two, one, three, two, one, three. So it is showing the order which I have inserted. So this is a table which does not have any indexes on the top of a table. So this is without indexes as of now. Now let me show you how to create indexes. Okay. And how to uh, create a clustered index and how to create a non cluster index. First, let me create a clustered index. So clustered index. Okay. See what is this clustered index? Clustered index is the one. 
so which will help us to improve the table performance or query performance okay and so once you create a clustered index on any table it means that it is going to store the data in a physical order physical either ascending or descending order means it is going to specify the order also in the in, in detail in the internal let me create a clustered index on the same table if you see that if you see that so currently it is showing 213 in the order 213 order so let me create a clustered index so create so syntax to create a clustered index is create clustered index clustered index and index name so i am going to create index is uh, emp number underscore index on table name table name is emp and the column name is emp number so this is how we create the clustered index so otherwise on the other hand you can if you specify employee number as a primary key again it automatically creates a cluster index for us but as of now so no index has been created no cluster index has been created on the top of the employee table so that is the reason why i am creating so if you see if i run this particular query it means that it is going to create a cluster index on the employee table so let me run this particular uh, query once i run this yeah commands complete successfully now let me run the select statement if you see this now the data has been ordered means so the data is going to stored in the physical table in a sequential order either in ascending or descending so now so why we cannot create multiple clustered index let us assume it so you you create one more cluster index you are planning to create one more clustered index clustered index so on like e, e name e, e name on e name underscore index on emp of e name if you create this what will happen it it tries to keep the table in the order of employee name but it is going to disturb right if if you see this it is going to disturb the employee number so that is the reason why so it accepts only one order so that is the reason why you can create only one clustered index it don't allow you to any table in the sql server does not allow to create a one more clustered index okay but one more point here so you can create a clustered index on multiple columns you can create a clustered index on multiple columns like like let me specify this employee employee name some particular order either ascending comma higher date uh, descending like that see like that you can create it but anyway like it, it, i already have one a cluster index on my table i cannot run this because it's already there okay means i can create only one cluster index but that cluster index can be created on a multiple columns multiple columns so this is what about a clustered index now let me talk about a non clustered index and one more thing is so clustered index does not occupy any extra space clustered index does not occupy any extra space so can i see the clustered index along with the table yes so let's go to the object explorer let's refresh this yeah let's expand the employee table so once you expand the employee table you will get the columns keys constraints triggers and indexes if you ex expand the indexes so this is a place where you can see your indexes so one index has been created with the name of emp number underscore index it is a clustered index you can see this now let me create a non clustered index syntax is similar to that create non clustered index non clustered index so same way like i am going to put as a uh, i am going to create on the job so job underscore uh, index on again same syntax employee i'm going to put as a job column name is job so if you run this statement it means that it is going to create a non clustered index okay and let me run this it means that one non clustered index created on the job column so let me go back to the object explorer so let me refresh this employee table once you refresh and if you see the indexes so there is a one more index has been created with the name of job index you can see it is a non unique and non clustered it means that so non clustered index is going to occupy a separate space it won't disturb the table space it is going to occupy a separate space and it is going to store the data 
it is going to save the data in a job uh, it is going to store the data on the top of the job column basis okay so whenever you run a query on the top of a job column by keeping a where condition on the job so it is going to give you result very quickly now let me create a one more um, non cluster index on a different column if you see this so let me run this so let me take one more column as salary or department number so here i am going to put as a department underscore index dept underscore index and i am going to keep the column as dept number so let me run this query if you see this yeah it has one more non cluster index has been created so as i told you you can create multiple non cluster indexes but you can create only one clustered index let me go to the object explorer let me refresh this i can see these two non clustered indexes and one clustered index means again so this non clustered index also occupies a separate space so means so this space for department number non clustered index this space for job non clustered index so if you run a query based on the job so this non clustered index will fire and it gives you the data in a very quicker manner if you run a query on the top of department number it gives you the data in a very quicker manner so means non clustered index is going to occupy a separate space okay in that space data is going to be ordered based on the employee table on the top of job and the top of the department number so this is how we differentiate between the clustered and non clustered index so that's it hope you enjoyed this video so if you like our videos please subscribe and share your feedback thank you for watching